lot of work went into this hunt prior to actually going hunting. Spent a lot of time researching on the Wyoming Game and Fish website, looking into the draw rates of certain units and how many preference points it took. Our strategy was to apply for a really tough unit to build that preference points, while our third choice was a very drawable unit and we knew we were going to actually go on the hunt. Along with looking at preference points and the draw rates of certain units, we also looked at the mapping system such as Kirshen products and an atlas to see if there was a lot of public land available. We decided to go to the eastern side of the state, but more specifically the Thunder Basin National Grassland was on the east side with a close proximity where we were coming from. Well, we just got here last night. Uh, we showed up for in eastern Wyoming to go animal hunting. Uh, both of us showed up around 11. Uh, 10 or 11 this time. Uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, so a uh, couple of oil rigs on each side um, in the distance, but we're pretty jacked. Making some food, trying to get back in the swing of things, uh, getting the camera back in working order. So we'll be out there soon. This is that campsite here. Pretty. Wide open all around us here. Oh, crit. He's pretty decent. I don't know. I feel like So I'm to look for bedding down. We can't go too much further. No. Well, originally we saw this guy uh, by that power line, and uh, he eventually looped all the way around um, and kept chasing does. So now we're across the road, just working our way and trying to cut him off eventually. Now, in the meantime, we're using our Montana style decoy with a challenge call to see if we could get him to draw into us.
There he is. So we, we got an antelope down. Can you see the one right there? Yeah, two antelope are walking right at us. Shane's antelope is right there on your right. Uh, now they're spooky. Now they figured it out. Unlike the TV shows, we haven't seen him yet. Boom! Well, first morning here in uh, Wyoming. We're probably uh, a mile and a half, two miles from our camp. Uh, we originally saw a few uh, just right at the top of the hill, about five minutes down the, down the road. Um, they went into some private land. We spotted this guy probably from 400 yards. Um, made a sneak, but they're pretty quick. Uh, this is our first antelope hunt. Um, just kept watching them, following them. Uh, there's a little ravine over here that uh, he was playing around and so we were able to hop in and follow. Um, we're in the Douglas area. Just uh, just found a campsite and uh, started driving and spotting stock. Um, Shane's first antelope. We're out here on BLM land. Seen them first over when we were driving. We tried to get out and sneak up on him, walked probably a half mile. He kind of spooked. We kind of came up with the hill. We were using a decoy and a call. Kind of spooked him. They went, made a pretty big loop. And then we finally snuck up on him back again on this side. Got, ranged him at 216 yards. Finally got on him. Dropped him right down. No record breaker by any means, but. We, uh, we were able to tell with our GPS mapping system uh, that we got, um, bought it from certain company, or name names because we had to pay for it, but we uh, were able to tell where the where the BLM land, state land, uh, pretty easy, uh, so we knew right away when we saw it, it was uh, on BLM land. Yeah, the mapping system works real good, that's how we tell. We seen a nice one right away, but we could tell he ran off onto some, he was on public land to begin with, some BLM land, and ran off onto some public that we didn't have permission for, so I had to let him go. On to get the next one. Well, I just couldn't do it this time. It was a, a decent sized buck, but uh, we still had lots of time left in our hunt and I was waiting for the next one. Well, we just spotted one probably less than 100 yards over the road. Uh, so we're gonna get out and try and uh, sneak up on it. They're in a little ravine here, so see how that goes. We're just off the main highway, of course. Here we go.
yard shot, 100 yard shot at most. We haven't ranged it yet, but I uh, just saw him driving down the road on some BLM land here. Uh, the GPS shows it pretty nice when we're cruising down the road. Uh, this guy's pretty tall. He's got a broken off tine here, so must have been a fighter. Um, not real wide, um, but he's got a real nice hook here. Um, one shot, took a, little, took a few steps and dropped. Um, awesome hunt. This is our first day in Wyoming. We've never been here. Uh, never done any animal hunting and tagged out in the first day and pretty nice uh, pretty nice bucks I guess for our first one so a lot of fun recommend it for, uh, for anybody who wants to come to Wyoming <laughs> Well, that concludes our hunt. We want to thank you for watching. Uh, we learned a lot on this trip, and I'll look forward to doing the exact same trip next year. If you got any questions, let us know.